All right, this is normally the time the Lions are on the clock, but of course the Lions have traded the pick. They traded pick 109 to the Las Vegas Raiders. So the Lions are now back on the clock at 121, and the Lions acquire more picks. This is interesting because I call it because I said the Lions would trade down with the Raiders in my mock draft. Holy shit, I actually called a trade right. Yeah, I imagine the Lions probably got another fifth round pick, so whatever we trade away yet last night to get Jonah Jackson, we effectively got it back. So we'll be back in a little bit in the next um, 12 picks to see what the Lions do. But I did call a trade in the fourth round. It's been pretty traditional for the Lions to trade down the fourth. Because the uh, for, cause, believe it or not, the first two years that the two years that Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia have been together, the Lions have made a trade in the fourth round. 2018, they traded up for Deshaun Han. Last year, they traded down and got Austin Bryant. This year, they trade down again. Who will the pick be? We'll have to tune in and find out in a little bit. All right, we're back now, folks. The Lions are back on the clock at pick 121. So they're not really announcing the picks now like they normally have the first two, three rounds. It's just, you know, they'll just, I guess, announce picks whenever they feel like it. So the Lions trade back 12 spots, and a lot of the talent is still on the board here. You know, Jake Fromm's still on the board. Jacob Eason's still on the board. Anthony Gordon's still on the board. Tyler Johnson, the wide receiver out of Minnesota, is still on the board. Donovan People jones still on the board. Quintus Seapress still on the board. Rashad Warren's still on the board. Like, there's a lot of talent still on the board here. The Lions can go a lot of different ways. You know, they do need to go wide receiver because the only one that's going to be under contract next year is Kenny Galladay. Since Galladay's overdue for his next big boy paycheck. So the Lions, they can do a lot of different things here. No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be the right time maybe to go quarterback here today go quarterback in these later rounds you know get someone you know to learn under matt stafford for a couple years you know maybe think of life after stafford because we've seen a lot of pip quarterbacks in the later rounds become stars in the nfl and the lions pick is in so we're gonna find out in a few minutes who the pick will be on the board so we traded down 12 spots with the raiders picked up an extra fifth round pick and here's the line selection the pick is Logan Sternberg out of Kentucky to guard. So we address the offensive line again. So we're loading up on guards now. So we got some more solid guard rotation. I mean, you know, get some more protection for Stafford. I can't complain about that too much. Plus, the Lions had a good look at him too since he competed in the senior bowl too. So, you know, another solid guard here for the Lions offensive lineman rotation. So, we're loading up on the guards, you know, to replace some Graham Glasgow. Very, very good, very good pick, you know. So we're stocking up now for depth. That'll be interesting what the Lions will now do in the fifth round, since both fifth round picks are later on. Unless the Lions are going to trade back up in the fifth round. Like, so far, the Lions have done the same draft strategy they did last year in the later rounds. Because last year they traded up in the third to get hit Will Harris. And then they traded down in the fourth and got Austin Bryant. This year, they traded up to get Jonah Jackson. And, th and then they trade down the fourth to take Logan Sternberg. So, yeah, another guard. We all more depth for the offensive line to give Stafford some more protection. And also help the run game out, too. So, yeah, good pickup. We'll see you back here in a little bit. Peace.